because the market could go anywhere, but if you buy puts, it only can go to zero, so your, your profits are limited. And it doesn't sound logical, but we find that the most overvalued options are call options, and they occur in the grain markets every summer, where there is a real or perceived scare in crops. The premium goes way up for out-of-the-money options. And what we want to do is construct the ratio spreads at that time. We're taking advantage of the most overvalued options at that time by selling the out-of-the-money calls that are the highest premium value and purchasing at-the-money calls that have the most reasonable value. Um, other markets that have great ratio spreads are the metals markets when we have a rally. Small traders like to buy cheap options. Those options are the out-of-the-money options. What do professional traders do? They sell the out-of-the-money options to the small traders and hedge themselves by purchasing the at-the-money calls. Okay. Now let's look at the last ratio spread that we did in the markets. This is one we put on about two months ago, recommended in the S&P. S&P had been moving straight up all year. Uh, it's up almost 30% on the year. It's one of the most vertical rises in the market that we've ever had. And in fact, in September, <coughs> even shot up even more like a rocket ship. Um, we found at that time that the out-of-the-money calls began to become overvalued. And the probability of the market continuing to make a huge increase uh, be began to decline. We, be we started moving into a trading range in September and October, uh, which the market has maintained now. So what we did is construct a ratio spread in the S&P of purchasing the 590 calls, which were close to the money, and selling the 600 calls, which were above all-time contract highs. And that gave us, and we did it at a credit, of course, as we said, what that gave us is a position that made money up past 610, an area that the S&P had never, never been at. And from, from zero to 590, we made $1,000, we received a $1,000 credit. We kept that credit, so if the market closed anywhere from 590 all the way to zero, we made just the credit that we put on, less the commissions and, uh, and fees, of course. And the position was profitable. Well, at 600, at 600 the maximum profit was at 600. You'd make a $6,000 profit. And it was profitable all the ways to 610. All the ways to 610. So the market would have had to move all the ways up here before we would have began, began losing money on this position. Just a wonderful position to take advantage of a market that is in a um, steep move like this and unlikely to continue it after one year. Again, um, every market that we've ever found that to be in such a steep uptrend has always entered into a consolidation or correction. So we were taking advantage of the probability that that correction would begin to occur. The market began to tell us that it was likely to occur by entering into a trading range. And we took advantage of selling the most overvalued options. The combination of all of those gave us a position that had a greater than 80% probability of profit. Okay. Well, we've spent a lot of time this afternoon. We've gone over uh, a lot of different strategies. And uh, I hope that everyone had a good understanding of it. And what we always allow you to do is after any seminar, for at least one month after the seminar, you can call our office. And the number you can call on is 800-888-2488, extension 132. And we have, uh, we have our option strategist that will be glad to help you with any of your positions or any of your questions. So feel free to give us a call for at least the next month. And we, we want to make sure that you're doing this right. And again, there's a few other rules I want to go over with you. Paper trade at first. Paper trade at first until you're profitable. When you have two months of profits, then start your actual trading. Trade small. Trade small at that time. And we recommend using only the initial bookie position to start with until you, until you pick up all of the concepts. And remember, the most important point, the profits always take care of themselves, but the losses can take care of you. So remember to adjust your position if it begins to come near your strike price and close them out if you don't have an edge or the markets become very volatile. We don't have to trade. We don't have to be there. 
take a vacation in Bermuda, and I hope to see you there. Thank you very much.